What's going on guys, it's Rob from Heroes Avenue. Happy Friday. It is time to talk about this huge black mask controversy, the Birds of Prey uh, plot twist that uh, that we've been sitting on for a couple days now. Um, gathered my thoughts about it uh, and I wanted to let you guys know and I'm really curious to know how our uh, followers and uh, subscribers feel about this because um, it's definitely had the DCEU and comic book fans divided. Now, quick warning, there may be potential spoilers for this Birds of Prey movie and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Coming out February 7th of 2020, there may be spoilers ahead. It may be uh, partly true, it may be all true, and it may not be true at all, but I wanted to warn you guys. So you have been warned. Now, for those of you who are still watching this video and don't know what is going on, um, let me give you guys a quick update. So a couple days ago, um, Grace Randolph, who is a, uh, a movie blogger, uh, um, a movie reporter, a scooper, and a reviewer and critic, she has, uh, she has dropped some huge news on us uh, via tweet. And again, uh, I, I want to say that this is from, according to her sources, it has not been confirmed by anyone else. I'm just going to read you the tweets and then we'll talk about, uh, talk about it. So she on uh, July 9th says, I'm hearing that hashtag black mask is indeed not just gay, but flamboyantly gay in the upcoming hashtag birds of prey movie. And some of the stuff I'm hearing is too crazy to report. You'd never believe me unless I had actual evidence to point to hashtag DCEU wide eye emoji and uh, questioning face emoji. She goes on to say, okay, basically it seems, and this is the second thing I heard today that I can't believe is true, that the plot twist is that Black Mask is trying to get back dick pics hidden in a diamond. WTF. And then she also says, just had it confirmed by a second source. We'll cover in another video tomorrow. So, um, so quick, uh, Quick tidbit on Grace Randolph. I know um, she is kind of a polarizing person in uh, in the uh, YouTube atmosphere. Um, she's had beefs with big YouTubers, and a lot of a lot of the smaller channels tend not to like her too. She has very strong opinions, um, a lot of opinions that I disagree with a lot of the times, and. Uh, yeah, so whatever the case, sometimes she has been correct or her sources have been correct on some of these things. So when she says something like this, it definitely um, makes waves throughout the um, the movie community, I guess you could say. Um, and um, this is coming right off the bat from another scooper, Daniel RPK, who just a few days earlier um, had reported on a test screening for Birds of Prey and I actually did a video on that uh, on his uh, scoops from that so basically he was hearing that um, Black Mask uh, is is probably or possibly one of the best DCEU villains um, so far after this test screening and not only that but one of the best comic book villains uh, in all and he has a great arc um, and they also said that Black Canary is a standout in the movie and that it's getting the whole movie uh, as a whole is getting really positive buzz so I was super hyped about hearing that I was I, I've been hyped about Ewan McGregor playing Black Mask um, so there was that Grace Randolph tweets coming right off <laughs> the tail end of hearing about uh, Daniel RP, RPK tweets that got fans really excited and um, restored some faith to some fans who were kind of doubting the movie. Now, hearing this, this has divided fans. Um, I'm seeing so much chatter online about uh, this huge twist, and I gotta admit, let me tell you how I felt when I first heard this. I was, <laughs> okay. When this, I, I can't remember, I think I was watching Film Gob's video while I was driving. I, I often listen to videos while I'm driving in the car and um, Film Gob's video dropped next and he kind of he kind of read exactly what I read to you just now. And uh, he was kind of surprised and I was just as shocked. I was like, oh my God, DC just started <laughs> to restore the faith of a lot of fans. Um, don't get me wrong, I loved everything they put out for the most part so far, minus, you know, Justice League was okay, I mean, I released a Snyder Cut. Um, Suicide Squad was eh, um, it was eh, I still enjoy it no matter how uh, bad the movie I think was, um, I still enjoy watching it because of the characters I love, but I've been a fan of all the DC stuff, but recently, Aquaman, Shazam, um, Man, I love those movies, and they're starting to restore the faith of a lot of fans, and then you hear something like this, and it just sounds so incredibly mind-blowing crazy. Uh, how can this be true? They're one, 
Um, you know, there, Black Mask is gonna be gay. He's looking for <laughs> dick pics. Um, that Cassandra Cain ate through a diamond. So that was kind of the, the whole context of the rumor. Cassandra Cain eats this diamond that secretly holds some valuable information that Black, Black Mask wants to get back. Um, and he it turns out the huge twist is that he wants to get back pics of his private parts. So, of course, that is going to set off uh, instinctively reactions that that you that um, <laughs> that have you kind of you know slapping your face and just being like, what the hell? Um, but after that initial after that initial shock and awe about this whole twist, I started to really think about it um, the next day and be like, is this really that bad? Like, I mean, again, saying it out loud sounds really bad, but if you go ahead and you say the plot of a lot of movies out loud, there are a lot of great famous movies, if you go ahead and say them out loud, they oftentimes sound quite ridiculous. So you can kind of tell where I'm going right here. I'm kind of turning around saying, okay, wait, I've been one of those guys on here on YouTube saying, hey, we gotta give things a chance. Now, um, I'm starting to come and turn around on this whole controversy and be on more of the side of, you know what? This might this might be a story that works. Again, uh, to, just to start off, like again, find you know your most favorite movie and, and um, <laughs> think about any Tarantino movie and you say the plot of that movie out loud, it often sounds kind of crazy, right? Um, and this is no different. Now, um, I started to think about uh, little bits of, of, of the huge twist that that um, is that may anger a lot of fans, and that I've been reading because I've been doing some. I've been looking in the comment section of people's tweets, and a lot of that. There have been people that are super supportive. Hey, of uh, a uh, a gay character being portrayed on screen, a major character, and it so happens to be a villain. There's people very supportive of that. Um, and and then on the other side, there's people like, what the hell? How can you make Black Mask gay? Or if they're fine with him being gay, how can you make um, one of the first big um, openly gay characters in a comic book movie a villain? That makes no sense. So again, you have those two sides just on this one aspect. And I think uh, on the whole aspect of him being gay, it doesn't matter to me. It does not matter to me whether he's gay or not. On, on one hand, yes, there's not many... Um, it, it, there's not many uh, openly gay characters in comics. Um, that's you know that's something that people, a lot of people think need to be changed, and yeah, it should be changed. You know, we definitely we live in a huge world with a lot of different uh, you know backgrounds, sexualities, what have you, and should be represented in the movies, right? Um, but again, I'm not I'm all I'm not for forced. I don't want them to force it upon me. Um, this wouldn't feel for it doesn't seem forced at least to me. Now, if if he's a villain. That's cool. I've, you know, we've seen possibly gay villains in the past. Um, who cares? The story is all that matters to me. So sexuality doesn't really matter to me. Now, um, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. I don't believe that Black Mask's sexuality was re really ever explored in the comics. Um, again, I've only read a few stories, and obviously, most famous the stories uh, uh, under the Red Hood storyline um, where he's very prominent in the story. But I don't believe his his sexuality was really explored. Um, so much um, in the comics anyways so I am I am I, I'm kind of like I'm, I'm still open to this it could be a great story again the villain if, if you treat him well and he has a great arc I'm still open to whatever I don't care about sexuality um, if you do I'm sorry but um, that's just my take on it I feel like it shouldn't matter if someone's gay or not unless it's a huge change from the source material which Obviously, you know, I've said in the past that movies don't have to be exactly the same as the comics, um, but sometimes you gotta justify the changes that you make. And um, if it was a huge change, then um, I guess, yeah, you have to justify it. But as far as, as far as the sexuality, I don't think it was a huge thing in the comics, so I'm open to this possibly being true. Again, again, I'm not saying this anything I want, because I don't wanna have expectations for this movie, but I'm open to it. Okay, the other thing that's um, had people um, up in arms is the fact that, okay, maybe you're on the side of, I don't care if he's gay, what the hell is up with this whole thing about dick pics? Um, <laughs> it's, again, it's saying that out loud is really, it sounds really funny, and hopefully YouTube doesn't censor this video because of that. Um, yeah, again, it sounds, it sounds really, really ridiculous, but, um, 
But one, I the, this twist, I would think, and this is just me speculating at this point, this twist, if true, I would think is something that happens in a narration by Harley Quinn. So let's say Black Mask at the end of this movie gets reprimanded, gets taken down by the birds of prey, and um, you know he goes to jail or whatever. Um, I would think at the end of this movie, Harley Quinn, uh, who's narrating, who we've heard is narrating this movie, is going to say something to the extent of, yeah, and you know that diamond thing, that diamond he was, he was, he was chasing after the whole time. Turns out he was just looking for pictures of his private parts, and he was too scared to, to let, uh, to let that be revealed to the world or whatever. Um, I, that's how I imagine it in my head um, when hearing this twist. Like they're not going to openly um, make a joke out of this. I wouldn't think. But again, I'm not really familiar with Kathy Yan as a director, um, but I wouldn't think that they would make a joke of characters. Um, especially given some of the rumors we've heard, how he has, has such a great arc, how he's such a great villain, and um, he, it's going to be um, other rumors saying that this movie is going to be as bloody as a Quentin Tarantino film. So I wouldn't think they would make a joke out of the character itself throughout the movie. I could think they can um, add some levity to the movie towards the end by saying that little twist. Now that's how I imagine things. It's probably 99% probably going to be false the way I interpreted it but that's how I, I that's how I think it could work this huge twist that has everyone up in arms there is my two cents on that um, now yeah I, I, I'm not sure if there's other things that are getting people really um, pissed off about this whole black mask controversy um, you know I, I really do think the big thing is his sexuality but again sexuality um, has been explored and and changed in different iterations of characters throughout comics um batwoman alan scott who was changed in in like a 2012 version um to be gay constantine is a bisexual character you know renee montoya in this movie is is uh who who takes on the mantle of the question in the comics is a uh i think she's a bisexual character harley quinn is a bisexual character so we're gonna have these characters inside of the movie itself already so i don't think that is a big deal at all. Um, I, uh, I go and think back to this recent season of The Punisher, and the recent season of The Punisher, you know, the whole crux of the movie was that uh, the villain was trying to get back uh, photos that made uh, photos of the New York governor, who happens to be the villain's son, that um, exposed him as being gay. Um, that was The Punisher, and I thought that was a great season. Um, now, I think also back to a recent Netflix movie. Um, Polar, which I think also is based on a comic book, and the villain in there, and while I don't think is gay, but very flamboyant and could be bisexual or gay, um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but he, that was a great, great action movie. I absolutely loved it. Um, the fact that uh, his that sexuality, that character played no part in me disliking it or anything. It has to be a good movie, a well-told story. Um, it has to have great acting, great action. That's what we're looking for in this movie. Um, and also, I think back to 300, Zack Snyder. I absolutely love Zack Snyder, as does a lot of people on this channel. Um, and I think back to Xerxes. Now, uh, I'm not sure what the actual historical figure of Xerxes, whether he was he was gay or bisexual or not. I know it was common practice back in those times, um, and it was not looked down upon. But in, in the 300 version of Xerxes, he appeared to be quite... Uh, uh, bisexual at, 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 at the least, right? So um, I think back to that movie that had, while it was kind of a chuckle in the movie theater, is just a, you know, this big, um, brooding, intimidating character, and it turns out he seems, uh, at least he seems to have a thing for, uh, <laughs> I forget the main character's name in there, uh, Leonidas. Um, it, it was just, you know, maybe laughing in the theater, but man. I still absolutely love that movie. Um, so I don't think the sexuality is going to even be an issue for me. I think hearing the rumor and uh, and the big twist out loud makes it sound really, really bad. But I went to and started thinking about it. If you say the plots for a lot of uh, big popular movies out loud, it just would sound just as ridiculous. So I'm very open to this potential uh, storyline being true. Not saying this is what I want, or what I expected coming out of this movie. Again, I'm just making the case that, hey, I'm, I'm back in the mindset of being open about whatever we get. Again, if, if it's done, I'm hoping it's done well because if Daniel RPK, who's, so, who's sometimes wrong, he's not always right, um, who's sometimes wrong, sometimes right, if he's to be believed, then Ewan McGregor is gonna have a great character arc and he's going to be a ruthless villain. And I wanna see that play out, sexuality or, or whatever aside, 
If he can be a great menacing villain, I'm all for it. Because uh, Hugh McGregor, great actor. He's played a gay character uh, in, in a movie before. Haven't seen it. I've seen clips from it. Thanks to that Film Gob video. Shout out to Film Gob. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on this whole Black Mask uh, and Birds of Prey controversy twist. Let me know what you guys think after hearing what I got to say. Do you completely disagree with me? Um, do you fall somewhere in the middle or do you agree with me? Let me know what you guys think. Maybe this is something we continue in, uh, in, a, next, in a future video, but uh, I'm sure we'll start to hear more soon. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like, share it, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah.